<laughs> I know what we're about to do. Do you know that I did one of the You can take it. You were on the other side. So, first episode of TV I never directed. And they, we were auditioning these characters in Los Angeles and in Vancouver. And then Nate read for the role in his kitchen in Cleveland, Ohio. <laughs> Like filmed himself reading, you know, with his wife. And oh, the, yeah, my wife did the line too. Yeah. We had the and the and the, the thing came in, and first of all, I already knew Nate's work from his years and years of being awesome. And I'm like, that's the guy. That's the guy. And so I sent in to the producers, that's the guy. And they sent back to me their choice cast list, and Nate Torrance was not the guy. <laughs> and I go, they're not gonna they're they're going a different direction. I'm like, oh no, oh no, and I was, I was, I had no business questioning their authority, awesome. I'd never done anything, awesome. but I was like, this, they're wrong, this guy is Sully, they, they are 100% wrong, I said, and, and I went to Jim Michaels, who was uh, one of the producers of the show, and he was the producer who was in Vancouver at the time, and I go, Jim, I don't know what to do here because I'm out over my skis. I'm grateful for this opportunity. Do not want to piss off the people who are giving it to me, but I think they're making a mistake because this is the guy. And Jim goes, listen, man, it's your call. If you want to call, you know, they can tell you no. You can lobby for it and see, you know, run up the flagpole. You might piss them off, you might not, I don't know, but certainly it's your call to make if you want to try. So I said, I'm going to try. And I called the producers, the, the big brass down in LA, and I got them on speakerphone, and I said, hey gang, uh, super fired up up here, Vancouver, really fired up by everything that's going on. Love you your choices. You yeah. Can I call you gang? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, capital G, like, formal gang. Really love all your choices, have one little thing I'd like to spitball with you. Um, if I can borrow you for five minutes, I want you to watch your choice for Sully, their audition. And I want you to watch Nate Torrance's audition again. And I want you to look for three critical things. And I said, specifically, the other actor was a fine, fine actor. And I, you know, it just what well, he wasn't Sully. And I said, look at him in this moment. Look at him in this moment. In this moment, there's three specific moments in the scenes. And I said, he misses that. He misses this joke. He misses this heart. He misses this connection. And he's holding the script. So he has a guide track. Go back and watch Nate Torrance in his kitchen in Cleveland, Ohio, with no script in his hand, hit every single one of those balls out of the park. If you still feel like the other guy's your guy, I can't wait to work with him. But just if you can, and they go, okay, call me back 10 minutes later, and they go, you get Nate Torrance. And that's how. The, 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 I had one of my favorite moments on a set was watching you and Jared Padalecki sit in that room yeah. where Jared had to tell you that he was going back to hell. No, yeah, it, it really, and you as a, I, you know, I know this sounds like a lot of buttering of bread, but sincerely, you as a director in, in that whole thing, how you handle, that, that's a heavy lifting episode because there's, it's funny, there's heart, right. but then the justification of my character in the world. Because I remember we went out and we, we ate right before. Yeah. Right? And, and that idea of how are we tackling someone in blue cobalt right. pants <laughs> well, or suspenders that were a little too tight. Well, hold on, man. Yeah. We have somebody dressed like, where, where's your, oh, right there. Yeah. There's yeah. your yeah. costume yeah. right there. Yeah. And, and we're you, pointing at you because you're wearing the outfit. Yeah. There it is, right there. <laughs> So you want to see that? No, so, yeah. But you did like it was. And you cared so much. You, you you just brought. You had such an eye. You approached it. I always say you approach it like a short film because television is just so much more condensed of what time you have to create something great. Right. And that thing still holds, man. It's it, one of my favorite. Like not just characters, but 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 actually like to work with you. I, I well, I, I likewise. You. Literally, you're like, I, I'm a huge fan. Yeah. And you know what I think is interesting. Yeah, right after that, Bob Singer, who was the big head honcho of the show, showrunner, he was the consistent executive producer for the whole run of the show, was very complimentary. He said, you know, he said, I wasn't a huge fan of that script when I got the script. 
and I loved the episode. So he's that was a comment. He's like, I didn't love the material, but the episode because I thought that I thought the script was silly. And I said, Bob, I know why. Because you thought it was a comedy, oh, and it's not. So good. It's not a comedy. And you directed that way too. I remember just finding that voice in the kitchen, like what's like, how big, how you know, like right. can we ground him but still make him a, a character. Right. That is, you know, that's imaginary. But man, it was. That was so fun. Well, because it was really a story of a little boy, yeah. right? I mean, the, at the end of the day, even when you're looking at Jared, you're looking at a kid because yeah. you've known him since he was a kid. No, no. It, it was, was so. It was so. It was again seeing you. Like when you guys have that, you got adult Jared and he's sitting on the chair and you're leaning on the lawnmower. That's such a great scene. Yeah. And did, yeah. But there were a lot of heavy lifting. Like he he would have, you know, as actors we have thoughts that we bring to a character. But like you flipping us over upside down on the bed, that was all you. Yeah. And there were moments that it was like, oh, you're creating a relationship without us having the time to create a relationship. That's like this is what they do. They sit around. And Talk upside down, and those were those were the things that just moved it yeah. so quick and gave it heart immediately. So I think you approach that as an athlete. Like I, I, I'd say, you're one of the guys that, like me, I like to be known as finding the emotion of a, of a maybe a broader, a wackier character, right? And like have giving them like this real heart or you know ethos or whatever that is, and, right? And there was yeah, we went back and we did talk. I mean, the good thing about it is Nate was willing to have that conversation because first time director Richard was like. First scene, first day, first scene when Jared like punches you in the kitchen, yeah. and I go, great, let's do another one, Jared. He goes, why? <laughs> no, and I'm no. Like, you don't want another? Like, no. I'm like, geez, you jerk. Okay, fine. It was, it was like that the whole time. But man, also, Jensen had been a big fan of Studio 60. So when you showed up, Ackles, like I never see Ackles like flummox. She's like, oh man, I love you. You're great on television. It was one of the best. It, it, it makes sense why you guys love the show because I do think whatever you created in Vancouver bleeds out of that screen and bleeds into these conventions when good people work together. Yeah. And I don't know that I've, I've, I've really, I've really had to work with that. Yeah. It's good people. Well, listen, I'm going to leave you to, to hang out with Dave, but literally you're one of my favorite people on the planet. Yeah, you do, man. And, and you know why you're so great? Because you're funny, but you're funny in a grounded way. Like you, I, I, I never read silly, and I've seen your work in a lot of stuff, man. And you, you, you always have one one foot on the ground, and that makes your humor relatable. It makes your humanity relatable, and that takes everybody on your emotional journey with you. It's a gift, man. It's a gift. I'm giving my money back. I'm doing something free. I need the pep talk. I feel like I should stay on here. And I have more questions, sir. Nick Torrance, everybody! Yeah.